Today, we're reacting to some content creators' insane gaming setups, and let's get into the first one, which is Eyes on Icy. So this one is Eyes on Icy. He's a YouTuber that I just like kind of came up on. Some people have been on him for a while, but I really wanted to see his setup because people have been kind of hyping him up. I transformed my setup recently, so here's an in-depth tour of my setup. All right, so let's start off with my peripherals. For my keyboard, I'm using the Wooting 60HE. Bet. Which is the fastest keyboard, if I'm not wrong. It is. And... I have these white keycaps on them from Amazon. W. The mouse I'm using is the Final Mouse Starlight 12 Phantom. Bet. This thing is absolutely beautiful. That is a pretty good mouse, for sure. Okay, so right here I have my MacBook, which I use for editing and checking my emails. I w MacBook. I this thing on this side of my desk because it's close to my bed. And I'll usually just use this thing before I have one too. To read manga or like just chill out on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah, W MacBook. My yo, MacBook. yo, what was on the MacBook screen? Yo, 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 yo. Nah. <laughs> bro, what is bro watching? <laughs> w Riz. W Riz. All right, dude. Anyway. My mic that I'm using <laughs> is the HyperX Quadcast S in the white version, so it matches my setup a little bit more. And then... My boom arm is just this low profile boom arm, which is pretty affordable. It's like 40 bucks, I think. So I'll make sure to that, link everything in the description if you guys want to. That's clean. I like how he did that, that monitor this arm. Over here is just my remote for the lights up there. Yeah, dude, I feel like I feel like this is such a cool, a cool concept. Putting two shelves closer to each other like that, I feel like it's such a cool concept. And I feel like not a lot of people have taken advantage of that. I one thing, one thing that I want to give feedback on people's videos is they don't zoom out, bro. Like they're showing each thing, right? But I'm just trying to see the whole setup. I'm trying to see the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? So heading over to my monitors, I have the exact same two from my previous setup tours. I have an Alienware 27 inch okay. and an MSI 27 inch. The only thing different about the two is this one's curved and it's 165 hertz. Bet. And this one is just flat and it's 240 hertz. Let's see, let's go to like the wall decor. Shelves from Ikea and some 3D wall panels from yeah. Amazon. See, I Over love here, the way he did this. I feel and some AirPods for some reason. <laughs> and then I have a plant from Ikea. Then over there, I just have my final mouse box. Yeah. And over here, I have my Lego bonsai tree, which is probably one of my favorite things about my setup. Yeah. The next thing I have is a cause figure. And then I have a Lego Lamborghini all the way to the left of my shelf. I forgot about my Bro said right. <laughs> Bro said I'm left. Using the black HyperX Cloud Alphas. And then on the back of my PC, I have my Asus gaming router back there. Yo, kind low key. Yo, yo, that. low key, eyes on. I feel like you should just take the router and put it on the floor at that point, you know? Like, or just mount it to the side of the Alex Shore because, like, right here, like, your PC is literally on your mouse pad, bro. Like, and I feel like that's, like, the most uncomfortable thing. Like, look at that. Yeah, that's Platinum me. Royal, by the way. That's, like, they got, like, diamonds in them, and those things are, like, expensive, expensive. Like, that's an expensive kit of RAM, by the way. It's good. That's a good video. Yeah, eyes on setup is really good. I just think I need a wide angle of the setup, man. Someday, just give me like, just give me like a zoom out one time, you know, for the next video, bro. Just like low key, just like zoom that bitch out. Anyway, moving on to the next setup that I wanted to react to. This is the Chandler. He's got 37K. This video got 3.4 million views on a long form, okay? I've never broke a mil on a long form. Okay, so this is like pretty viral. This is my current gaming setup. It's my bedroom and it's extremely cramped, leaving me with no room. And this is a completely empty room that is now mine. My w. sister just moved out like five minutes ago. And I'm not wasting any time, so let's build my dream setup room. So first off, the carpet is like extremely uncomfortable and Bro, honestly feels what? like sandpaper. So the first move is new carpet. Now that I have extremely comfortable carpet, it's time to make the first move. Wait, so you literally had construction and ripped out the carpet. That's kind of sick. Extremely comfortable carpet. It's time to make the first move. So now I need to move in the most important part, the desk. This thing is so heavy, bro, for no reason. I think I'm gonna center it. I'm so used to having my desk like pushed to the far right, but I have yeah, room now. No. So I'm gonna center it, and then uh, I think that leaves us more room for some creativity. Now, in all honesty, this is my least favorite part, screwing the tabletop into the drawers. So y'all wish me luck. I'm using 3D panels again in this setup, but this time, just not so overkill. I plan on lining them up with the desk, so stopping here. And when it comes to height, I'm gonna stop where my monitor tops out at. Okay. I love the pacing of this video, though. So 
the 3D panels are done. Just finished them. And it was actually way quicker than I thought it was going to be. Yep. There's a couple spots that have a little bit of a gap in it, but it's okay. I think it'll not too bad. better once we get something that I ordered a little bit ago. That Shelf. That should not have spent $136 on, but it'll completely change the setup and make it look fresh. Shelf. Now that the panels are done, it's time to move on to the next step. Something I've noticed about this room is that the ceilings are extremely tall. Yep. Meaning that I have a lot of wall to fill. So I got this ginormous lack shelf from Ikea. Yes, Classic. This shelf is just really tall. I promise I'm not that short. And Classic. Especially if you don't have an Ikea near you, dude. Hey, everybody knows Ikea shipping is... Yo, okay, is this the... Wait, I need to ask you, Chandler. Is this the camera that's tilted or are these the wall panels that are tilted? Okay, okay, okay. It is the, it is the camera. Okay, okay, okay. If y'all boys could not tell already, I'm going through the stack monitor look. Yep. Monitor secured. That's okay, nice. And then here in a second, it's still extremely low and it used to be like that in my previous setup, but I do not like that at all. I want it to be at least eye level, so I'm not like... Yeah. Dude, I, I, that's a big problem. I see in so many people's setups when, when they send them to me, right? I see people put this monitor like on the desk. Okay, I need a stool to mount a monitor. Listen, okay. As a Hispanic man, you do what you have to do. That's probably the most convenient right there. You're five nine and you're complaining about height, bro. You're five nine and you're complaining about height, brother. Brother, I am five five. Vertical is the only. You know, way. you know, you could take that monitor arm off, right? It's just an Allen wrench. You just take it off. You don't have to like hide it behind there, but. I'm 13 and 5'6". I'm in the 7th grade and I'm 5'7". Alrighty, it's day two of building... Oh yeah, you look, ref game you game. look refreshed as hell here, dude. And, uh, Damn. Right to it. So I've been using this gutsy Aiden mouse pad for a while and not gonna lie, it's uh, a little dirty. So uh, I'll probably clean it later on, but for now... W I'm mouse pad? Toss in the setup. My Yo, can we, get a, can we get a W mouse pad in chat? W mouse pad, bro. Well, is this to be the only wire you can see in this entire setup? So now that we have the peripheral setup, I want to do the next step as my streaming area right here. For what will be holding my camera, I'm using this mount that I found off Amazon. And for those curious, the camera I use when streaming is the canon m200 chair now complete in the yo okay wait chat do you guys put arms on your guys's chairs too or no bro because i i didn't know this was controversial but people put arms on their chairs and it, they it, it's not a normal thing to put no arms on your chairs i didn't know this was controversial again dude wait that thing's kind of big golly Dude, I actually built this extremely fast. I'm proud of Wait, myself. that looks a little sketch, yo. Yo, did you guys see that? Look at the movement, bro. Dude, I actually built this extremely fast. I'm proud of Bro, that, that looks a little scary. I'm not going to lie. I really did not think it was going to be this tall. Hey, that actually looks pretty good. These are just temporary designs, and they will be changed in the future, but for now... That's kind of nice. I know, that's nice. Too. Pretty productive day. I got as much done as I can. It is now a couple days later, and as you can tell, I have received almost all my packages. This is not nice. everything, but just about. So, uh, it's going to be a busy day. The only things that I've actually Dude. changed is I put my old Xbox 360 down there and the original PlayStation right there, and I made my PC all white, so... Uh, Yo, I love... I love, I love the GPU having your name. That's sick. Yeah, let's watch, let's just give ahead. Like, look at the cable management. Another problem. I really hope this thing holds because if one day it all just comes crashing down, well, I'm gonna be very disappointed. But I think it looks great, dude. Y'all boys let me know in the comments how I did because I have never cable managed before. So I'm actually really proud of this. For instance, here's the before and this is the after, bro. And there were- It's not bad. Things added to the setup that I did not exactly show, and I do apologize for that. But one of them was this low profile boom arm. For That's nice. Because I did That's a, a nice boom arm. Out. Like, looking at the personality, I love how he did this, you know? I would have liked the shelf a little lower. Yeah, see, I definitely think another light shining down in the setup would be sick here okay that shelf is nice i like that i think that that fits better too moving on to uh spud gaming is another one that i wanted to react to because he's he's kind of an og and has been making videos for a minute and he just released a tour i've built my myself this pretty epic looking setup okay and from looking at it you'd think this is where i do all of my gaming it's got a high-end custom pc build yo that pc build is actually super nice but if you did think that you'd actually be wrong because over on the other side of the Wait, room is what? my full dedicated gaming setup. That's Today, sick. Today, I'm going to be doing a full tour and breakdown of everything that I use in this setup. So let's dive in and take a look. Wait, there's a separate setup within the setup. That's sick. Yo, 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 yo. He doesn't even have Windows. Yo, he doesn't even have Windows activated. Come on, man. Come on, man. You're a tech YouTuber. You don't even have Windows? 
Yeah. And it also didn't match the setup aesthetic, so I switched it out for this white gas sprung arm instead. I want to see the decorations of the setup. Did a few decorations in here to add a little extra spice to the setup. As I always say, fake plants are one of the best decorations you can add yeah, to your deck. Yeah, it's kind of true. So I've got a few dotted around to give that nice natural feel. I also have my trusty little Squirtle Funko Pop and these cute little Pokeball Terrarium jars that I picked up from an Etsy store. That's kind of cool. just a super cute addition to the setup. That's kind of nice. And finally above the setup, we have the only RGB over here, which is my Nano Leaf lines. And this is probably one of my favorite lighting displays. This is super sick. It's ages to come up with a design I actually like. What do you guys think about this? I feel like, I feel like the setup itself is really sick. Also, the gaming setup is nice. Also, like, the, the positioning on, on his speakers here on this setup and everything. I, I really like it. Also, the shelves are really sick. Like, the way that he decorated this entire room. All right, moving on to the last setup reaction that I wanted to uh, react to. This is a... I think he's a more you, newer YouTuber. He's got 10K. His name's GTPCs. All right, let's lock into the setup itself. Because the room we, we kind of care about... The room and then there because, like, of course, the case it, it looks awesome. RAM, a uh, leg, like a support leg. I've yeah, see, I don't know. Okay, a lot of you guys have been doing this. Stop putting the leg in the middle. You guys don't need a support like this. Maybe on an IKEA desk you do, but an Ekback and especially the big ones, they don't need it. Oh yeah, and I forgot to say, on top or the, the what's sitting on top of these is the uh, IKEA lack shelf. It's weird how they. This is also an IKEA lack shelf up there, and it's weird how they call them both lack shelves. Then up here, I have these uh, fake plants. A lot of yeah, so the thing about IKEA, they they call this a lack bookshelf, and then this one's the IKEA shelf, the lack shelf. The lack shelf is the flat one. the The lack bookshelf is the one with the the things. Like looking at this, I really do love the way that he decorated this room. I think it's really solid how he just kind of put it all together. Overall, though, these are some good setups, man. Overall, I feel like there's a lot of up and coming people that are like making good setups. I think there's a lot of people who are who are gonna make some really sick stuff. If this video is at all helpful for you, make sure to subscribe and also watch this video next for more setup inspiration. See you in the next one. Bye bye.